every once in a while, somebody comes out with a new quilting subscription box and I can't resist. I've got to grab one to see if it's a good fit for me and open it for you so you can live vicariously through me and see if you want to sign up as well. Hey friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video, we're going to dive into the first ever Rebs Fab Stash box. This is from March 2022. It is a sewing project box that cost $49.95 plus shipping and handling and my shipping was $6.99. So it brings the entire cost of the box to just under $57. I did pay for this box. I did not get one for free, but I actually do have an affiliate link for Reb's Fab Stash. You can use it for their boxes as well as anything else on their website. So that'll be in the first comment down below this video. Let's dive in and see what we got in this month's box. So here it is right on top. We have lots of documentation and everything is kind of covered up with that really pretty tissue paper. So no sneak peek for you. <laughs> Let me look through this documentation. There's a receipt for my purchase. There's a card that tells us about everything that's inside the box. I'll use that to show you everything one item at a time. We have a recipe card right on top for some ham and navy bean soup. I love some ham and bean soup, so this is really nice. The card's a good quality card stock, and the back side is blank for any additional notes that you might want to take. And this looks like it could be uh, made in just about two hours in a slow cooker. I love a good soup in a slow cooker and I feel like it with it being springtime, it's still appropriate to have a good soup for dinner. In fact, today it's kind of cold, miserable, and drizzly. So maybe this could be dinner tonight. There is a promo code in this little packet of documentation for 10% off of your order if you are a subscriber. Good until April 30th of 2022 as an apology for the first box being a little delayed. We all know that supply issues are a major problem right now and so boxes are sometimes a little delayed beyond their control but they're saying thank you for sticking with them in spite of <laughs> the box being a little late. All right let's open up the tissue paper and see what we have. I'm gonna rip her open. There we go. Wow, everything is really nicely packaged. And oh my goodness, there's kind of a ton of stuff in here. This isn't just one item. This is a whole, like, I feel like I just won the jackpot. <laughs> All right, one thing at a time. Let's see what we got. We have a unique fat quarter. The card says that there are no two alike. Every box has a different fat quarter and mine is white with these really pretty little blue flower petals all over it. In fact, let's just open it up. Give you a better look at that fat quarter. Oh yes. We have a little pack of cute buttons. This is a pack of stitch buttons from Lori Holt. And if you look at the back, you can even see the retail value. This is a $13.45 retail value. They left the price sticker on there. There are a lot of buttons in here. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. They're in Lori Holt colors. There's a variety of different shapes and sizes in here. I'm not a big button user. Like I don't use them on a lot of projects, but I really like the way they feel and sound. I mean, that's just very satisfying to me. In fact, there's a fabric store in my local area that sells buttons like in bulk and there are just tons of different buttons in there. And you walk in and it's a big bin just filled with buttons. And I just like to put my hands in there and pick them up and feel them and hear them as they fall back down. Does anybody else have that problem or is that just me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have three projects. We have a small project, a big project, and a block kit, which I think is going to be part of like a block of the month series. So let me show you what we've got. We're going to start off with the small project, which is super timely because I was literally watching Okla Roots videos on making these yesterday and I printed off her free pattern. And now I can just do this one. This is a mug cozy and inside of this little plastic bag, we have a pattern with a beautiful picture on here that shows us what we're going to make. 
and then all of the fabric and interfacing requirements needed to put this mug cozy together. Now, now, why didn't I make Okla Roots coffee sleeve yesterday? Well, because I didn't have any fusible fleece and I want to make hers, but the method that she uses, I think it would be easier to do it with some fusible fleece. So I have some in my cart. I haven't checked out yet, so it's not here. So I was waiting for that to come, but now, I can make one today. Now I will show you, they actually gave us some Insulbrite. This is like insulated batting, so you don't wanna put this in your dryer or your microwave because there's some foil in there. So if you're gonna make this, um, don't wash and dry this, just wash it and let it air dry and don't put it on your cup in the microwave. We have a butterfly block kit that is optional applique. So if you wanted to, you could applique the butterfly body onto the block, or you could just leave it traditionally pieced. We have the entire sheet of instructions, and inside the paper is everything we need to put that beautiful butterfly together. So we've got some white for our background, some yellow and some blue, and some green for the body if we want to do that. And then we even have some interfacing to use if we're gonna do the applique. Now I sew on a straight stitch only machine. So if I do the applique body, I will probably just stick to a straight stitch and have a raw edge applique for the butterfly body because I actually kind of like the look of raw edge applique. If I want to have that body look a little bit more finished, I can pull out a machine that has a zigzag or a blanket stitch and I can sew or applique that body on so that I'm adding in stitching that's gonna prevent the fabric from fraying over time. But like I said, I like the way the frayed fabric looks in raw edge applique, so I don't think that'll bother me at all. All right, now is the moment that you've all been waiting for. Our main project is here and it is a doozy. Take a look at this kit. There is enough fabric in here to make four pillow covers out of the flea market fabric line from Lori Holt. Inside the kit, we have our pattern that tells us how we're going to build the pillow covers. Let me show you all the fabric that they included. We have a half yard cut of the green print from the flea market line, a half yard cut of the pink fabric from the flea market line. We have the panel for the flea market line, which is what we're gonna use for our 16 inch pillow covers. So this panel actually includes four of those big pillow covers. You have that one, that one, <laughs> And those two. <laughs> and then also along the salvage edge, you have these little extra blocks that you could use to do some other fun things. There are six of those little blocks, and those would be perfect for a mug rug, a coaster, or maybe some little pin cushions or little tiny pillows. But wait, there's more fabric. We have a one yard cut of some beautiful white that we'll use, and then another one yard cut of the flea market multi-print. So one yard, one yard, one panel, half yard, half yard. So three yards plus a panel for the main project. That's a lot of fabric. That's the very first Rebs Fab Stash box, and I gotta tell you, I am blown away. It's less than $50 before your tax and your shipping, and you've got a ton of fabric, three projects that you work on, and some really cute little buttons that are not cheap. Overall, I think there's definitely a value here, but I would be interested to know what you think. Is this a box that you would be interested in getting? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your input. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and come on back next time. I'll see you all real soon. Bye. Coffee sleeve yesterday. Did I say sleeve? I think I did.